Hello everyone. I'm Kiri. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to my presentation. The purpose of my presentation today is to talk about Japanese custom. As you know, there are different nationalities in CNC. So today, if you will know about Japan, even if only a few, I will be glad. From now on, I will talk about a part of Japanese customs. Let's begin. The first topic is politeness. As you know, Japanese often bow. It means greeting, thank, and respect. Something like that. Actually, there are three kinds of bow by degrees. The 15 degree bow means greeting. So we usually use it when we meet each other. Next is a 30 degree bow. It is the most common bow in business. So when customer comes to the store, the employee uses it. It means respect. Next is 45 degree bow. It means an apology, super respect, and a greeting for important person such as a boss. So a bow represents politeness in Japan. In addition, there is a way to apologize that is more polite and different from bowing. It's called Sogeza. It's the most polite way of apology. But it's usually shameful action for Japanese. So I can hardly see it. Therefore, it is quite effective when people apologize. So if you have encountered a situation that the Japanese is very angry because of your bad behavior. Mm -hmm. You will be able to try together. Maybe you can control his anger. Move on, next topic. What is this number? Five million. This number is about something in Japan. The answer is a number of vending machines in Japan. Actually, vending machine density of Japan is number one in the world. So, there is a vending machine everywhere in Japan. It's very convenient because it has been running all day, even late at night. And there are diverse vending machines as well as drinks. Please look at the screen. The left side vending machine is food. I can buy hot dog, fried chicken, french fries, takoyaki, in it. The right side vending machine is ice cream. I can buy many flavors ice cream. Other than that, there are vending machines with bread, snack, lunchbox, cigarette, and so on. So many Japanese use it. Let's go to the final topic. The final topic is about the national sports of Japan. Sumo is one of the national sports of Japan. So I will talk about sumo. Sumo began about 350 years ago. So sumo has long history. Now there is professional league. So profe professional sumo wrestlers belong to the league. The league has some classes by wrestler's ability. The people in strongest class are called Yokozuna. Now there are three Yokozuna in Japan. 
and small wrestler have great physical ability. All of them have flexible body like this picture. And their appearance is quite fat. But actually, they have so much muscle, so they are very strong. And the average height and weight in the professional league is 185 cm and 155 kg. So all of them are very big. Nowadays, Mongolian small wrestlers are stronger than Japanese ones. Actually, all of the all of the three yokozunas are Mongolian now, and their income are very high. Yokozuna can get about four hundred thousand dollars a year. If you are interested in sumo, please check sumo on the internet. It is one of the national sports in Japan. I hope you get interested in Japanese culture. Thank you for listening to my presentation.